Now language refers to basically visual and written techniques, which you would use to interpret a text. Now, basically, you must both think and analyze how and why they are used. So, in other words, how has the text been written and why has it been written that particular way? And how are visuals used and why are they used in a particular way? So actually really going and focusing on the language individually, as in each sentence, each line, each word. You must constantly challenge the use of such techniques. So you must look at particular key sections of the text and look at, okay, why has it been written in this particular way? How, why is it um, an action or a, a setting being described in a particular sort of way? What about this language technique or, or this sort of visual uh, cue has been placed to shape meaning in, in some sort of way, in some sort of significant way? So some of the things to look for are uh, emotional imagery, um, sensory language, all those sorts of things. Basically language which sort of creates a sense of mood and atmosphere. Metaphor is another one particularly especially one of those really interpretive ones. Visual layout, and particularly if you're looking at a film or a visual text, this is a particularly important one. Camera and film techniques, the same again with visual layout. Dialogue, so in terms particularly of a play format, for instance, then dialogue becomes an important language technique that you look at. Contrast, paradox, and juxtaposition, so anything which is compared and contrasted to itself. And basically any sorts of irony, things that come across through the, the types of language which are, which are used. And through your analysis of all these sorts of language techniques, you start to get a bit of an interpretation about how a text is put together just through word by word, sentence by sentence, or scene by scene, helps to shape meaning. And you, again, you, just like construction of story, you can think critically about all these things and it gives you a lot of variety. Now, being critical requires you to be selective. So being selective of all those things means you don't use them all, but you use the ones which are relevant to your argument and particularly what your argument's asking for. It might only ask you for one of these things to interpret, in which case you've got to focus just on that one thing and not any of these other ones. It also sort of goes to indicate the amount of variety that is involved in basically analyzing language, construction of a story, 